My name is Patty Cappell. And I'm Dan Cappell. And we're from Charleston, South Carolina. We are in woods. been motorhoming for two years now and on the quest to decide what we really liked and what we didn't like in motorhomes. Some of our principles were um, we travel point to point about half the time and the other half the time we're, we're camping and some of our must-haves was we wanted this wider aisle. Yeah. And this aisle is about Huge. three or four inches wider than the normal aisle. One of our other principles was we wanted as much windows visible as possible. We'd like it light because that led to Patty's interior design really, the, the yeah. color scheme. Well we wanted it bright and I wanted it so that it was very neutral. So I love to change things up. So with this motif I can change the curtains, I can change different fabrics and right now we're in the blue and white face. <laughs> blue and white dishes. We have blue and white plates. So Blue and white right now reigns. Oh. I like change. <laughs> and, this, and this allows me to change. I chose the magnetic curtains only because I love it when it's bare. You know, when the windows are bare. But yet you need a window covering for uh, either for heat or light or whatever. And But I also want the window coverings up when you have the screens open. So we devised this little... Um, I, I actually made a little uh, pair at home and then sent them here and they improved upon them. And that's not for everybody, but I'm willing to fiddle because I love being creative. Yeah. And then I also have an idea of um, making them plain cream color and having my grandchildren paint on them. The world is your oyster. You, we can do anything we want in here. Everybody is so prideful of their work, and you can tell when we came to pick the van up, they're not happy about their work until we're happy about it. My name is Janice LeMay. She was absolutely wonderful, and she was uh, a sewer herself, and she made us some things that she had made, beautiful work she did. I hadn't really worked with leather before, and there was a lot of practice that went into getting the stitching right. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. And Emma says <laughs> goodbye. <Yeah. laughs>